Right now, uh, clinicians use the endoscope to try and identify which locations to biopsy, but oftentimes the changes that the clinician needs to see are not evident by the endoscope. In vivo microscopy may allow you to focus on the region of interest, find those areas that are more likely to harbor dysplasia, and just biopsy those regions. The clinical colleagues are fascinated by this new technology and are now starting to really see the potential of this in the management of their patients. The only difference from what, they, what the pathologist normally looks at is that instead of being taken out of the body and stained and looked at under a microscope, they're now being obtained from patients in vivo. We're seeing the same cells, we're seeing the same architecture, we're seeing the same morphology. One of the ways looking towards the future that in vivo microscopy will make a tremendous impact is that at the bedside you can make a pathologic diagnosis. You can therefore give the patient the result much more quickly. You can choose to act in a much more efficient manner. And because these techniques are capable of screening large areas, you can give more confidence to the patient about their particular diagnosis. The main opportunity for pathologists is that if pathologists become involved in learning how to read this data, learning how to interpret this data, uh, they can become an essential component of the diagnostic management strategy that utilizes in vivo microscopy tools. I've been trying to align this laser and it's going pretty well. The field is clearly transforming. Opportunities are in front of pathologists right now. Opportunities that if at an early stage pathologists get involved in, they will find that it becomes an integral part of their future practice of pathology. I think in cardiology, this technology will be widely utilized probably in two to three years. In gastroenterology, I think we're looking more like a three to five year time frame where this will be widely utilized. But this is a short period of time because right now is when the early adopters are figuring out how to use the technology. You use a dual balance configuration here. This is a fantastic time to be a pathologist. There's never been, in my mind, uh, more interesting new developments more fascinating new technologies, and greater promise to really affect better patient management. We really are at a crossroads. We, as a field, we really do need to look at these opportunities, and we need to grab them and go with them.